pull up this Britney Griner thing for me real quick. There's a lot more people minor than Cannon Wilros. Hmm. All right, let's go. So Britney Griner says her new lifestyle has her broke. I have no idea where I'm going to live or how I'm going to provide for my son. First this is all, her. Ugh. That's just nasty, bro. And she's now Muslim, I believe. And this is her in the car speaking candidly about her situation on live. So here we go. Yeah, I'll tell you this though. I've gone through a lot of changes internally. And as a result, my outer world has completely <laughs> crumbled. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. Whoa! Wow. Pause. Uh, incredibly uncertain and just Do you remember the girls in high school? Or a college that were hot, and everyone wanted one of these girls. Like they were just the hottest girls in school. They were athletes, yep. football players. Yep. Then later on in life, they have like kids. Yep. They look older. Yep. They look worn out. They look like damn. They're defeating life. You're like damn. Why didn't I ever get her? Then you're like, wait a minute. She has two kids. Looks drawn out and looks like she's like going downhill. Bro. Actually, I dodged a bullet. This is reminds me of this type of girl right here. Yeah. Brittany Renner. Yeah, and you know what's funny? I actually warned her about this before, that this was going to come down on her. And obviously now, right, She's claims that she converted and uh, that she's going to be, you know, a good woman now and everything else like this. And, and, you know, this is a girl that has a body count like in the 30s or 40s, if I'm not mistaken. She admitted it on the Shay Shay thing, right? Yeah, man, she's and, lying, man. And it's probably, yeah, exactly. It's probably, I mean, Chris, what, what's the general uh, <laughs> calculation whenever a girl gives you a number? I mean, times three. <laughs> because uh, those, those are guys that she, had, she hasn't fucked yet at all, man. So, well, so imagine she's like, oh, yeah, 30, 40. Bro, she's being modest, They don't count bro. condoms or other things, too. So that no might jobs, be yeah. thing, too. Yeah. 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 And actually, there's girls out Yeah. I was going to say, they don't count condoms. They don't count dudes that they hooked up with, like, uh, on a, a girls' trip. And mm -hmm. they don't count when they get paid for it, too. The, oh, that's a new one. Sometimes. Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the thing. Ruby Rose even said it. Oh, he ain't paid for the box. Bro, this chick is a bona fide too, bro. She Hold on. It. Oh, shit. You know what? I'll play this real quick for the chat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. This happened in Miami. Bobby Schmurter posted this. Hilarious, bro. Oh, yeah. That was so gross. You seen that, right? Yeah, I seen that. Yo, I know both of them. You know what's crazy? What? I'll, I'll tell you after we, All we, right. we play the clip. No, uh, okay. So uh, with, as far as this Britney Griner thing, I give it, guys, two to three months. She's gonna get off this grift and she's gonna um and she's gonna go back to doing what she's doing because I've said it before, I'll say it again. Sex workers, guys, okay. Bill's pull up. Look, here's a problem, right? I'm gonna have a real talk with y'all. And I want you guys to really burn this into your brains, right? Women that are sex workers, right, a lot of the times are devoid of real tangible skills. Okay. A lot of them probably don't get an education, or if they do, they decide to relinquish it and not take it seriously, right? Kind of like that 304 lawyer or whatever it may be. A lot of them don't have tangible skill sets that will allow them to get a job in the marketplace of ideas and skill sets, right? So they go and become sex workers, and they go ahead and do OnlyFans or pornography, or they do something like this, right? Maybe even escorting, sugar babying, whatever it may be. And this is extremely prevalent now with the internet, right? And the ability to travel and the anonymity uh, that's afforded by the internet because a girl that's a 304 in one geographic location, right, can go to another geographic location and pretend to be a good girl and kind of hide from her past, right, to some degree, of course, right, especially if she's if she um, isn't on the internet, right, a traveling dancer, whatever the fuck it may be. So, what I say, what I'm trying to say by this, guys, is that once a girl gets into this job field, right, it's very difficult for her to get out for two main reasons. Number one, you're not going to make money as quickly like that and as easily like that in other professions. That's number one. And then number two, if they do decide to leave that work that work field and that, you know, that sex work, it's gonna be very difficult for them to find a job in the outside world that will accept their past, right? Especially a job that's higher paying. A doctor, a lawyer, um, like a job that could have replaced the income that they made doing the sex work that they were doing is typically gonna require some type of like character or clean background. Okay? So what ends up happening is they end up becoming slaves to the very career field that they thought would actually free them because that job field, the quick money, 
the simpleness of it, you're being able to work your own hours, etc., and uh, and the amount of money that they make becomes almost an addiction that they can't necessarily escape. So what ends up happening is they get into this job field, they make the money, they're like, all right, I'm out now. I'm gonna go ahead and take my money, cash out, and do what I want to do, and like live a life, put it into money, put it into real estate and invest, which they never fucking do, because they end up almost always investing it back into themselves to get surgery, get bags, and all this other crap. So they never can actually leave the lifestyle because they can't get another career field that will pay the amount of money that they paid for the simplicity of the job. And on top of that, find a job that makes that kind of money for them that will accept their past. It's very difficult. So this is why most sex workers almost always regress back to where they came from in the first place because it's very difficult to make that money. And what you guys are seeing right now with Brittany Griner is a woman that's in a transition period where she's almost at a crossroads. Okay, if I keep going this road and not showing skin and being, you know, uh, you know, follow my religion, I'm going to lose a lot of money and I'm going to struggle, right? I, I, I'm not going to be able to do what I used to do to make that money. Or she can go back to doing what she's doing, have this whole bad girl phase, kind of like Mia Khalifa did. Oh, I'm haram. I'm back, blah, blah, blah. I'm back into sex work. Woo. Right? Like she did with OnlyFans and use that to run up a bag on her, you know, OnlyFans or her website or whatever else, you know, product that she offers. So that's kind of the issue that women that are in sex work deal with. You can't escape it. And the reason why you can't escape it is for the reasons I mentioned above. The quick money, the lack of talent needed, the lack of skill needed, and then if you actually do have the talent skill to leave that job field and go into something else, they're gonna scrutinize your past. And it's almost an inescapable career field, guys. So that, my friends, is why sex workers can never actually leave the career field and why you should never commit to these women because the things that they have to do to make that kind of money will always put you in a precarious situation as the boyfriend, the husband, the fiance, whatever it may be, and destroy the relationship because they have to behave in a promiscuous fashion to get the money from that career field. And you don't want to be on the fucking receiving end of that. I promise you will ruin not only your mental health, her mental health, and by definition, the relationship. Let's God forbid you guys have fucking kids. That's going to be a big L. I mean, pretty much. Let's go. Listen, that's keeping it real. Like and that. and just at your point, let's say you save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Guess well, what happens when you slow down or she gets bored or she feels like she needs more money? Yeah. I She's mean, yeah. the same activity she used to do beforehand because, you know what? That's all she knows. That's her only skills and... That's what it goes to naturally. So, bro, it's L no matter and what you do. this is a difficult conversation that your big brother or your father probably isn't going to tell you or needs to tell you. Because the problem is, guys, the sexual marketplace has evolved. Women are able to do this stuff now, right, and make a bunch of money and almost scale their sexuality to an unprecedented level. Thanks to Instagram. Thanks to Twitter. Thanks to um, social media in general, where women are able to effectively use these social media platforms as like online stripping poles to market themselves from a sexuality perspective. And look, it's not healthy for a woman to take her clothes off in front of men at a strip club. It's also not healthy for her mentally to show her body off and do these things in front of a camera and have a bunch of dudes do, you know, unspeakable acts. Goon. Right? To this chick. It's not cool. Matter of fact, they had this chick, I'm going to roast her in a second, the Sophie Rain chick, they had her on, on, the, on the stream with like uh, lace, right? And What's that face? Uh... But it's lots of the Twitch. Twitch. Ten. Yeah. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Yeah, yeah, Twitch. She's not on Twitch, bro. She, she's an OnlyFans chick. She's not on Twitch. I know, but yeah, that's just man. For such. Anyway, um, <laughs> hi Chris. <laughs> hey Twitch. man. It's alright, Twitch. We got you. What? It's mm. alright, Twitch. We love Twitch. Yeah, we do. We love Twitch so much. This chick isn't a Twitch creator. No, but like the some words said right. Just be careful, bro. C continue. What I say? No, you mentioned Lacey. And he's gonna roast him. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, yeah. What I'm saying is that he gave the he said I'm to you, and then you guys should have saw the look on her face when he said that. Like she was like, "What the fuck?" And like I think that was like when it kind of hit her. Like, wait, hold on one second. Like, oh shit. Like these dudes are actually to me, and like I have a face to the activity, and it makes them feel like holy shit. Like I'm responsible for that. I am a a scumbag. Like I'm over because and, and I don't think women understand like the end product of what they're creating when they sexualize themselves a lot of the times. Right? They they don't know. But like when a guy's there sitting next to you literally saying, Yo, I to you right before this, yeah. like she had this look of disgust on her face. 
and it like I could see like the 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 like you know when you get like a Rubik's cube and you like snap everything into place and everything connects and you're like woo. She literally had that, but in the reverse, like snap it together. Oh, so this is what my content really leads to. Shit, and they have that level of division because. They're doing it in front of a camera. They don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. But when someone goes ahead and reminds them, oh, yeah, I was to you, they're like, oh, It's in her face. This is what my content leads to. And and it's just not a thing. You know, um, another perfect example of this, remember when Vitaly uh, showed Neon, show, showed neon uh, that uh, um, Sam's like Picture. pictures yeah. on yeah. OnlyFans? Like, why did she get so angry? I mean, mad. it's pictures that you took and posted on the internet. <laughs> she was mad, bro. That was tough. Deep down, they all know what they're doing is fucked up and deplorable. And when shown it in front of them, they can't handle it. That's my point. Even women know that are what they're doing is wrong and unacceptable. And they're embarrassed of it a lot of the times. They'll sit there and say, I'm a proud sex worker. But they're really not. They're fucking ashamed. And they know that they sold their souls to do it. And the worst part is they'll never be able to escape it. So this is the real talk, guys, that you know we need to be having on platforms like Twitch and etc. so that we can get to these normies and let them know like bro this is not how you go about it this is not what you do and here's the thing I'm not telling y'all to like like hate these girls go ahead bang them have fun with them but they're recreational use only never wipe these chicks bro ever 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 um alright so I remember, quick, I remember when Goon used to be like um gangster or thug <laughs> yeah back here. in yeah. the day yeah, yeah facts not anymore so uh we got a quick uh message real quick Go ahead, Mo. You have it ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got a quick message from the sponsor, by the way, guys. Uh, Y'all roasted fresh city scared? <laughs> yeah, I'm very scared. All right, guys. This message brought to you guys by 1775 Coffee, okay? Let's be real. How much longer are you going to let them feed you lies before you take control? While they're busy pushing agenda, 1775 Coffee is brewing something else. Freedom. Corporate coffee? They're more interested in woke nonsense than giving you a strong cup of coffee. They'll gladly serve you overpriced, moldy sludge, while making bank off the same people trying to silence you. But not 1775 Coffee, backed by Rumble, where free speech is real and our single origin beans are as pure and as strong as the values we stand for. So why keep drinking weak corporate coffee? Head to 1775coffee.com, use code FRESH, and get 15% of your order. Every cup of 1775 supports creators like us who refuse to back down, guys. Again, that's 1775coffee.com, use the code FRESH, get 15% off. Guys, if you love free speech and you love caffeine, healthy caffeine, of course, with black coffee, you guys got to go ahead and support us and 1775 Coffee and our guys over at Rumble, man. So shout out to y'all. We love you guys. 1775 Coffee is the way to go. Drinking right now as we speak. We really do drink this stuff. They're adding protein to the items on the coffee list. So oh, protein in your coffee in the morning. Get you strong and ready to start your day. Get it while you still can. And I drink it black, pause. So uh, guys, stand with us. Stand with free speech. Stand with 1775 Coffee. Stand with Rumble. Let's go. Back to the show, baby. Um, all right. What else? Okay. So I sent Bills a clip, actually. Of, What's your thoughts on Brittany Griner's situation? Yeah, I mean, we told her back in the day, back at academics, uh, what it was behind the scenes, and she understood off camera. She was definitely more understanding. And uh, she knows what she's doing. She's well aware of her situation, and she's well aware of the consequences of her actions, and she understands how dating works. But I guess she played into her character as Brittany Renner. And as a result, um, she got fed up and said, yeah, I'm going to make a change. And I want to be Muslim. Granted, though, that led to uh, her being less affluent. And as a result, she has to decide, is she going to stay this way or change back to her old ways to make more money? So we'll see what happens in the future. But honestly, bro, I mean. Wait, you said Griner or? Renner. Renner. Oh, Renner. Cool. Yeah. I said Griner? I just kept oh, no. saying Griner. I'm sorry. I meant yeah. Brittany Renner. 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 This yeah. whole time. Same thing. Yeah, but she, she knows what's up, though. She, she understands and, behind and, the scenes. And um, how old is she, by the way? 30 something? She ain't changing, bro. Uh, I don't. Like, is she 30 yet? I don't know, but I she think ain't when changing, I spoke bro. to her, she was like 28. Let, let's do a quick little Google search. Real I think fast. She's in her 30s, bro. Let's see. Brittany Renner. And now uh, she's 32. black, right? 32. She's like... She 32? She oh, yeah, 32. she cooked. She cooked, bro. She ain't doing it, bro. Never mind, yeah, she cooked. She come in, man. 32 like this? Bro, she, oh, she, she come in, man. She, uh, she's yeah. born in my year, 92. Yeah, she cooked, bro. bro she, yeah, she cooked, bro. It's over. She cooked. 